Hey guys, welcome back to my craft room. And in today's video, I'm going to show you my Project Life card organization system. So this, it has been mostly already organized, but I do have a little bit that's in progress that I'm going to show you. What I've done is use these dividers that are from scrapbook.com to add in some different tabs and sort out my cards. And I'm gonna go through all of those categories in a moment. Um, these are from stampinstorage.com and I will have linked, links to all the products or the closest products down below. These in this exact size have been discontinued, but they do have something similar. And I believe that scrapbook.com still has these. They have the three by four and the four by six size. So what I've done is I've taken some of these pockets out and I have all of these things down here that I'm going to go through. These were some um, just other random items that I was storing in with my Project Life cards. And as you can see up here, I have some stamp overflow and then I move into my cards. I have cards from here all the way across. I have a few empty spots for those random items. And I'm going to kind of work through how I wanna lay all of these out and show you that on my top-down camera. This right here, I just have some, I keep my nail polish, but normally I, this is mostly just clear. And this, I'm gonna just back up a bit so you can see where this rests in my craft room. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you on the overhead camera and go through this a little bit at a time. Okay guys, these are some random items that I have saved in my card organizer over the past few years. And I'm just gonna kinda go through them now and break down where I think that they should fit because I'm gonna sort these first and then I'll dig into the actual cards. So I have a pad here and I actually have one of my old dividers, don't want those. And then these are all large tags. Um, I really like large tags. Um, so I have these here, but I'm not entirely sure if I wanna keep those in my card organizer. Then I have some smaller tags here. I'm not sure why they're in a separate spot, but those go together. I'm just gonna move everything over. This is a large three by eight pad. So, and here's some of the larger three by eight papers. So starting um, this year, Allie Edwards has had these three by eight papers in all of the kits. And I think these were from an older one where she tried it out. Um, just in that one kit, but they're in all of the story kits. The problem with these is they're not a true three by eight. So there's these ones I have here that are actually three by eight. You can see the difference. These are designed to go outside the page protector. They won't fit in the three by four pocket. So I need to use a four by six pocket for those. I do have these three by eights that are true three by eights. These are scraps from a kit that I cut off that I do want to keep, but I'm not sure if I want to keep them in here. Here's some cards. I don't know why these are not where they would be. Um, these are random old notes. I don't need those. Um, I'm not sure why these aren't sorted with the rest of my cards, so I'm going to put them aside to sort them. This one also. This is a very gorgeous um, letterpress print that is just being wasted sitting in this collection, so I'm going to put that somewhere else. That's trash, same with this. Got some cute things here. This one has all these cute little logos on here. I think I'll keep that in my, I'm gonna put that in my art journal pile off to the side. This, these are some pockets, these are from Minted. I don't know if you've ever ordered anything from them, but I keep the pockets, so those are great. Um, here is a greeting card that I bought. Um, I think I wanted to put this in my rainbow collection, which is totally not a scrapbooking thing. So I'm gonna keep that separate. This is some ephemera I'm gonna cut up. I'm gonna put some smaller things here to cut up. Here's a very cute sticker. Um, hmm. Don't even know what to do with that. That's just very cute, but I think I wanna put that maybe with some travel things. Okay, so these are these like seed packets. I have quite a few of these like pocket things. So I'm gonna make a pile of those. These are more of the days of the week, so those will go with this right here. Maybe I'll put those separate. Here's some vellum cards, so those that should have its own pile. So these are like specialty papers. These ones are smaller than 3x4 cards, so I'm going to put that here. 
but these are some specialty three by four cards. So those should have a section. These are tags to the tag section. Specialty, I think I'm gonna put the transparencies and I think that this was once a specialty section. It just never got a divider or anything. This is a letterpress, but I don't know that I wanna put that with my specialty ones. I guess actually these are all letterpress. And no more transparencies, here's more pockets. So these are all these like pocket ones, which I do use these sometimes to have like hidden journaling in a pocket. And they are similar to a three by four card. These ones have a movable tag. I think that's the same idea as a pocket. So I'm just gonna put those with the pockets. Another specialty paper, here's a pocket. These are paint chips, totally, and these are two by two squares, totally not Project Life cards. I'm gonna put those there. I don't even know what to do with those. I guess I'll put them there. These are scraps. Oh, that goes there. So I'm thinking these scraps can go into my scrap drawer. So I'm gonna do that. Let's see here. So here's a specialty four by six, and actually all of these right here. So we've got some specialty four by sixes and I've got some tags. The point difference here though is these tags are larger and if I wanna put these tags in a three by four pocket, these won't be able to fit with them. So I'm just gonna give them their own pile for now. Here's another specialty. This looks like a travel card, but I think it's not actually four by six. I think that's why I have it in a special pile. So I'm gonna put that. So I have all of these like specialty cards and papers and I collected a lot of these from Jamaica Make Shop, um, other places, I picked them up. And I do like to use these things in my art journal or my scrapbook. I kind of forget about them a lot though, but they're just so pretty. Okay, so I just put this on fast forward for a little bit here because there's so many things to go through and I didn't wanna make you sit through all of that, but I'm just sorting through all of these other bits and pieces that aren't, technically project life cards but i store them with them because i cut them up and use them like them or use them in pockets and they just fit in my organization system so once i finish sorting all of these pieces then i'm going to pull over my actual card storage and start putting everything together okay guys i have temporarily relocated my card storage over here on my desk where i have my camera and I have put you on the zoomed out, so it might look a little bit off, but that way you'd be able to see a larger display. So hopefully you can see everything, and I'm gonna go through each category a little at a time. So what I did was I'm gonna go through the four by six cards first, because that is the portion that is um, much smaller. I have much, much fewer four by six cards. So up here, I start with here, I have the, I'm just gonna do one category at a time. We've got weekly. So what I do is I have these tabs, and like I said, these are from scrapbook.com. I have some extra ones here of the four by six. Unfortunately, I did not buy enough three by four ones. So I do, oh, and there's more cards hiding back here. And this is kind of why I need to go through and do this organization every once in a while and clean up the system. So these cards come in these packs where there are some labels that you can add on. And I have a few extra ones. Um, I don't believe I have any extra three by fours or maybe one or two um, tabs. And if so, I might end up using those today. For the four by six, we've got weekly. And these are just, so basically what I do is I put the tab behind the cards. So these are these this week card. These are all from Allie Edwards. Um, the Stories by the Year collection that I think came out in maybe 2021. And so I'm gonna put that right here in that, and those cards come before it. For the four by six cards, I did not separate between journaling and title cards. I separated by theme instead because I just don't have as many four by six cards and I don't use as many. These are monthly sets. So these ones have, I have a couple um, full sets of full months in case I want to use them for a year of Project Life, and I kind of honestly forgot I had these. I will keep that in mind for 2023 because 2022 I already have things started. Okay, then I get into my categories, and I actually think I wanna kind of mix up where I have my categories because these those are specific sets. I think I want to kind of um, put 
more basic cards near those um, monthly sets and weekly. So these are all grids. Then let's see, we've got solids. So solids, these, oh, here's a vellum that should go with specialty. These are all just solid white four by six cards. And sometimes I just crop down cardstock to be in here because then it's more convenient to pull from. Then here we have stripes. So anytime that there's a card that has stripes, whether they're for journaling or just decorative, I put them in the stripe section. And that way, if I want a specific color, I can dig through here, but that kind of gives me an idea. I mean, some of these are could be used for just journaling on the line. Some of them wouldn't necessarily work as well, but I have them all together in one spot. Then I have my seasonal ones, and I think that is where I'm going to, actually, I think I'm gonna break those apart and put the list ones next. So now I have two separate list categories. These are for cards, and these are mostly from Allie Edwards, where there are prompts to include a list. And I have these split into two different categories. I have general and specific, list slash multi. So it's an idea where you can keep multi stories. The general one are things that are very general stories that you can do. Today's gratitudes, or just one, two, three, story, one, two. This could apply to almost any layout. So I have those all together. These are the specific ones. These have a very specific prompt that has place for, for you to write in different stories. These ones I have, these are a little harder to use for mustache, but if I have a week in project life and I'm short items to include, this is a great place for me to go because I can use one of these prompts as a jumping off point to tell a story. So I have all of those together right here. And I think that that kind of fills that. I want it to not be totally full so I can flip through it and add more as time goes on. Okay, so then I get into my seasons. So especially with the Allie Edwards Stories by the Month kits, but also from other brands, you end up with seasonal cards. You end up with holidays. You end up with all these different things. I don't want to have a tab for every month. I don't want to have a tab for every season. It's just too much. So what I've done instead is break it down by the seasons of the year. So winter has December, January, and February for me. So anything that relates to the winter months, winter season, or those specific months or holidays that fall in those months goes there. And just a side note, I don't have my holiday, December holiday type things in here because those are with my December daily supplies, but all other holidays are in here. Here's fall. It has a lot of gratitude. Um, it has, you know, things that say September. So this would be um, September, October, and November related things and things related to holidays that fall in those months. Then I have summer. So that is June, July, and August. You know, stay cool for a heat wave, something that would happen this summer. This is just specifically about summer. And so those all go there. And then I have spring, which is um, March, April, and May. So some of these are May, some about blooming, um, April joys, so different spring related things, Easter. So that way I know when I'm working on spring months, I can dig into that. Now I'm getting into specific themes. If I ever come across cards that fit a specific theme, I'm going to put them in that theme. And that is a good way for me to try to keep um, cards usable. So this is home slash rest theme. I've got some cozy ones. I've got some that are filler, some that are journaling. But I know that if I want to tell a story about home or resting, I can just dig through here and make it work for what I need rather than having a separate one for journaling versus um, filler cards just because I don't want that many tabs. And I definitely bought enough tabs for that, but there's just not as many four by six cards, so I don't need that. So this is watch, read, listen. And when I came up with these categories, I was just really looking at what do I use, what do I have? And I will share the list of my categories down in the description box below. Next, I have food. So eating, meals, that type of thing. And then here, the last one in this section 
is outdoor slash travel. And of course, there's a lot here. Um, travel, I also have outdoor in there. So things for like hiking and that type of stuff are also in that section. Okay, now moving over to here. So I have my four by six cards across the top, pretty much the whole way across. And I did want to kind of range these a little differently, so I am moving these ones over. So here are some more specific themes. I've got me slash hard slash encourage. So these are for hard stories, um, reflection, internal type, those type of stories or encouragement type stories. And I think there's a lot of products that meet this category. Um, things from One Little Word would fall into here. And, you know, I just, I have a lot of them. And, you know, this is my one little word this year, enough. So I love that card. I need to use that. And I'm going to put that in here and hopefully remember to come back and use it. And that's why I want, going through these every so often like this to kind of refresh it is also reminding me of what I have and helping me use it. So this is love slash date slash us. So relationship type things. We've got family slash friends slash you. So for family get togethers and really you should come up with your own categories that fit your life and what you journal and scrapbook about. So these are photo bases. So these are specifically intended to include photos on top of. And so usually I would not be able to pull a card from here if I've already printed my photos because I do need to choose my photos to fit it. And then the last one right here, I have our vertical and these are just cards that are vertical because I, there's not a lot of four by six vertical cards and I don't use a lot of four by six vertical cards. So I'm just gonna put those in the back. Then I have here these two stacks, which are general titles, which this should go in this one, and specific titles. And these are cards that have large words for a title card for a week. And usually I would use these to start off a week, but these ones are very specific. Again, similar to what I have with the lists, and these ones are general. And I think that that section is maybe a little too full, so I think I'm gonna move these ones over here. But these are some general titles. And I do use titles a lot. I use one every single week, and that just fits the way that I scrapbook. These are large icons. So these are things that have large pictures on them um, or things I could cut out, just kind of very specific. Um, more about the shape rather than the topic. So like this is a day in the life one. These one has speech bubbles. So the idea is I could use those to cut things out or you know if I just want a large filler card that has an icon that doesn't need anything else. Then because I have a lot of Ally Edwards products I have this section that are just quotes. So these are quotes that don't fit any of my other themes. So I'm going to put those back here. Because that is such a general category Anything that fits a specific theme will go there. So like here I have travel brings power and love back to your life. This is a quote, but I didn't put in the quote category because it fits the travel category. So those are quotes that don't fit any categories. Now I have some journaling prompts. So these ones right here are the specific prompts and these are the general or no common prompt. No, no prompts or common prompts. So again, these are cards that I can use for journaling for pretty much anything. Here's an around here, or it's just blank. I want to remember, and I have a lot of those. So if I'm just looking for a four by six journaling card, here's where I'm gonna go. And I'm gonna put that right back there. But then here, these ones are journaling cards, but they have very specific prompts. Learning, thanks, thankful for your kindness, thoughts to organize, celebrate, Hello, sweet, brave soul. So these are very specific journaling prompts. So again, these are gonna be harder to use. They don't fit in a specific category. So when I'm trying to find cards or journaling um, jumping off points, this is where I'm going to go first. I'm gonna put those right in the back there. Actually, I'm gonna move the quotes over to this section because I'm trying to keep these sections about equal width um, or fullness. Okay, so now I'm going into patterns. So these are just colorful cards. They could be title cards, they could be fillers, they could be bases. And what I've done is I split them by color. I didn't want a tab for every color because I don't have that many four by six cards compared to three by four cards. But so what I did instead was I split them by cool colors and warm colors. 
neutrals and multicolor. And that's what I did for all of the colorful cards. So I'm just gonna have those right here. And then right here I have florals. Um, and that's just because I saw a lot of plant floral type cards and I thought that those can make their own category. Now I remember I have the specialty four by six cards. So I think I'm going to make a divider specifically for those. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on. I think actually I'm going to do this section next. So these are all old Becky Higgins kits. Unfortunately, these are not all of my Becky Higgins kits, but these are the ones that I like the most, that I pull from the most. I have the Everyday Edition, which I have here and in these ones, the Project 52 Edition, which is here and these ones. Um, this one is, I can't, I think it's called the Currently Edition. It's here and here. And then these are from the Seafoam Edition. I don't have the four by six cards from the Seafoam Edition out here. Actually, I should see if I can find those because I could actually fit them probably right here. And that would be a good use of that space. So I'm gonna move this down here. So when I craft, I'm over towards this side. So the things I'm using more, I want this direction. So I'm actually going to relocate this. Hmm, actually, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I was thinking, actually, yeah, I think I'm going to move these up over here because that way all of my Becky Higgins type ones are over here on the side. So I finished putting the Becky Higgins ones in here. So I added a few additional tabs and I rearranged them a bit. So the everyday, oh, and actually, you know what? I'm gonna change that. I didn't even notice that that was like that. So the Seafoam edition is here and here and back here. The currently edition is back here, here, and back here. Project 52 are these ones. Everyday edition are these ones. So I do still have some other editions that are not here, but these were my favorite ones. Some of the other ones are older, mostly used up, or I do have one that is unopened that my daughter got. Um, I can't remember what it's called, um, but it's by Liz Tamanaha. She designed this everyday edition and then it was her first one that she designed. And I have that one, but the package hasn't even been opened. I got it for my daughter and she decided she didn't want to to Project Life after, you know, getting some supplies. So I do have that one to open and work in here, but I like this being kind of contained here. So the pads I do need to keep on the top because they are so tall. I don't want them blocking other categories, but now I have these spots open. I have an open spot over there and then I can go into my three by four cards. So I'm going to dive into that now. Okay, so moving into my three by four cards, which is the bulk of my organization here. The bottom row here, I have journaling cards. So I'm just gonna go through these like I did with the four by six cards. So I have travel slash outdoor. Conversation, so these are, you know, things you say, quotes, that type of thing. And really when coming up with my categories, I looked at what I had in my stash and what I'm going to what I'm going to use. Bad hard times. I also have a lot of like COVID related ones in here um, that were from Kelly Perky shop. And I just figured those fit in with the bad hard times. Me slash reflection. And you'll see that I have more specific categories and more categories for three by four than I have for four by six. And that's just because I use more three by four journaling cards. I have more three by four journaling cards. So it just made more sense. 
friends slash family slash you. So some of these are the same. Love slash date slash us. Home slash rest and reading, listening, watching, etc. So those are all very specific categories. And that one is actually pretty full. So I'm gonna consider maybe if I can rearrange a little bit. Moving into the next one here. Oh, I accidentally dropped a few cards. Don't wanna do that. Okay, so these ones are, back here, these are week or days of the week. So there's a lot of cards that have this like days of the week thing. And so I have those, they have their own category right there. But a lot of those come from uh, Studio Calico. These are happy slash good times. I feel like that one doesn't really make a lot of sense next. I think I wanna kind of rearrange these and that's kind of part, part of the reason I'm going through it and part of the reason is to share it with you. So here's winter. Again, I did the seasons the same way I do for the um, four by six cards. Here's fall. And as with the four by six, I have the most fall cards. I don't know if, I think it's just, I don't like the fall cards as much. So I don't tend to use them. I don't like a lot of the browns and stuff. Summer. And then spring. So I like those there. Okay, and then here is today slash times of the day. I feel like that kind of goes with the weekly. So this is, you know, there's, so love today, story of today, morning, evening, that type of thing. So I'm going to actually put that back here next to the weekly there. And then let's see, I have a few other categories that I need to try to figure out how to split these up. So I had these ones in with there, but hmm, considering if I want to, I feel like I don't have another one to devote to these because I need those for something else. So I'm just going to leave these here for now. So right here I have, these are my multi-story ones. So similar to like what I had with the four by six up here with the list. So these ones have spaces for you to include multiple stories. These ones have multiple stories with a specific prompt on them. These ones have um, a fill in. So it's got a spaces for you to fill some stuff in, but it's less, um, it's more prompt based. So for a, a week when I don't have as enough content, that's a good place to go. These are for general lists. And these are for prompted lists. And that's the end of those. And then these ones are celebrate slash play slash fun, which was another category. So again, like I said, I really am kind of outgrowing this and I need to kind of figure out how I want to do that. And you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm actually going to move these stamps out of here because I don't really use these stamps and I'm going to find another place for them. And I'm going to move, let's see, I'm going to move these up here, which is some of my stamp stuff. And then I'm going to have my journaling cards go all the way across here on the bottom. Sometimes it's hard to get these things in. So I'm going to kind of move these categories over here and put these categories right here. I'm gonna move a couple of these ones here to kind of give me some room to grow, which is really something that every system should have in it. And those ones I already went through. And then this is actually perfect, I like this. So these ones are the, um, the prompts that don't fit categories. So these are very specific prompts that don't fit a category. These are the very, um, and general prompts. So these are the ones, you know, that says love this moment, story, yes, that I could use for pretty much any story. And then these ones have no prompts. So they have no words on them at all. And those would be chosen mostly by color. And then finally here I have solids, grids, stripes, and then journaling lines. So very similar to what I have in my four by six. And so my journaling cards are all the way there across the bottom. Okay, moving on to the filler cards. So I have the journal cards down here. I have my filler cards up here. So we've got reading, listening, watching, etc. 
So unlike the four by six, like I said, I have my three by four split out by filler cards and journaling cards. I have a lot of the same categories and I have them in the same order. So these ones match these ones, which actually I should line them up. So home and rest. So I'm going to switch these right now so you can see the um, these categories match these categories in that same order. Love, date, us. Friends, family, you. So I'm going to fix these ones so that they match that. Yeah, so me slash reflection. And they might not be able to line up perfectly, but we'll see. Bad, hard times. And then travel slash outdoors. and travel slash outdoors. Okay, so these prompt ones I'm gonna put over here because there's not going to be a um, filler um, equivalent. Okay, so now let's see, we've got up here, today slash time of day. I'm gonna put that towards the back again. Food, see these ones match these ones. So I'm gonna line those up again. We've got, I'm just gonna try to go through these and put them in the same order. So we've got the weekly slash days of the week. And look at that, isn't that such a cute card? It's just fun to go through these and see what I have. Now we have our seasons. We've got winter, fall, summer, and spring. So then I've got happy slash good times, which I'm guessing was in here. Yes, and food slash eating. So I'm gonna put those there and these here. So let's see. Um, looks like I don't have an encouragement slash future card section for, hmm. Okay, these ones, I'm gonna move these over here because those ones don't have a corresponding filler card. Let's see what we've got up here. We've got here slash place, wordless filler cards. So most filler cards have words on them, especially from the companies that I have the most of, which are Allie Edwards, Studio Calico, and Paper Person or Kelly Perky. So there's not a ton of these that don't have words, but I've got some in here. So I'm gonna put those back right there. And then, so these ones are prompts. So I'm gonna take, these ones are general themed. i put those right there. And these ones are specific themed, which is gonna be similar to, I've got general, specific, and no prompt there. Wordless would be my no prompt version. And these, this here, there place, doesn't, I don't wanna put it back there because I will forget about it. So I'm gonna move that over here. And then we've got encourage slash future. And right here, we've got number slash letter slash symbol. It's surprising how many cards there are that have numbers, letters, or symbols on them. And then let's see here, we start getting into colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put these ones right here and these, the number one. So we've got numbers, happy, good times, food slash eating here slash place, encourage slash future. And then I'm gonna move the here slash place to the back so that I can put the journal ones in the same order. So there's no conversation up there. There's no celebrate slash play slash fun up there. And then we've got happy, good times, and then food slash eating. So there's some lineup between these two, but not a ton. Okay, so then we're moving over here and it looks like we've got too many. I definitely need to put fit some of these in elsewhere, which is probably why those weren't split out the, that way before. Um, but I'll figure it out. So once these are, uh, once we're done with those are the filler cards, now we're getting into our patterned cards. And I've got here neutral slash metallic, and these are multicolor color patterns. And then we're getting in here, we've got them in rainbow order now. So we've got red, orange, yellow, 
gonna put them upside down as I go through them. Green, blue, pink and purple are together because for some reason scrapbooking products don't have a lot of purple. And then black slash white slash gray. And this was also done because I don't have a ton of these tabs, so it was running low. And then right here we've got um these are these ones are cards that have a base for a photo or ephemera. So they might have like space where you could add some words, you could tack a photo on here. It's just different configurations that don't fit one of the other ones. And these ones I split by warm, cool, neutral, and multicolored. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these ones, those ones really should be by themselves because they are a different theme. And then the rainbow ones here, I'm gonna put the black, white, gray. And these are just the rest of the rainbow here. It's gonna be in this one. And then the question is, what do I do with these multicolor and neutral? And I'm gonna see, I'm gonna put the multicolor right here. Yeah, I think it'll, it'll fit just to put the neutral here. So what I could do is create another pocket for it, but I think I wanna save these for something else. So now I've gone through, these are all my three by four filler cards. These are all my three by four journaling cards. These are all my regular four by six cards. These are my Becky Higgins cards. These are my pad type things. And you know what, I've got a few other pads here. There's this phone one. This is a little house one. And then this TV one, I feel like that one doesn't quite fit, which is probably why. Oh, it does, it just has those sticking over, but you know what, that works. So I'm gonna put that there. And then I have these down here. So I'm gonna pull over this stack, which these were those specialty items that are not four by six size, they're other size. I'm gonna put those there. And then I have these pocket ones. So I'm gonna put these back here. And so this is what I'm thinking. This is kind of blocking that a little bit. So I think what I wanna do is move these down like this and move these down here. So I could put these other things in this section. And then what I'm gonna do is create some tabs just to keep it organized. Even though you can't really see the tab because those things are so tall, I think it will still help me keep things in the right category and not get as mismatched as it was before I was making this video. You could see that these items were the ones that were the most um, all over the place. So the pockets go in the back. I'm not gonna give them a tab. And then these are um, specialty odd sizes. So I'm gonna put that right there. Put those right there. So then let's see, we're gonna come over here. I've got some three by four. So these are the specialty three by four cards. And I don't think I have any extra tabs. I thought I had had one, but I don't know where it is. And maybe I did actually use it, which is, you know, I would like to put a tab in here, but I just, I don't have one. Um, and I do want to keep this one here, dividing those two additions. But I would like to have one right there. And then these are the pocket cards. So I've got the specialty and the pockets. And then in this other one here, I'm going to put the tags, the tags. And I know this one's a little tall, but I think I'm okay with that. I have some more tags here. I'm just gonna stick those. They're a little larger back there. Put this one up here. Here's some large tags. They don't fit. I think that they should go in that section. Here's another specialty. I'm gonna put that there. And then I have these little ones. I'm gonna put those there. Now I did think about kind of pulling those out and putting them, here, I'm gonna put these specialty ones. But I didn't think about pulling out these little ones and putting them in with my other embellishments, but I think that they make a lot of sense here. Um, these other ones I am going to pull out and put with my other embellishments. Um, and then let's see, what else do I have over here? I have these four by four cards. I'm gonna put those into that other section. 
Although actually, me hard encourage. I'm just, you know what? I'm going to put them in there. Even though they're not four by six, they're four by four. I think that that's a good spot for them. I have these things that, that were saved from kits. They don't fit in the three by four. So I'm going to put them in this other weird shape. These stickers I'm going to put elsewhere with other embellishments. And then these were these um, four by six cards that were cut down. I'm going to put those in there as well. So that is how it all comes together. I'm gonna to take these extra pieces so I don't lose them. I'm just gonna store them right back there. And that is how it all came together. So I'm going to take you off the overhead and put this all back on my shelf where it belongs and give you one last look at everything. One last thing before I put you, um, put everything back away. I didn't fit these other things in there and I forgot to mention them. So I decided I'm gonna take this art print out because I think I'm gonna put this up on my wall. And then the three by eight, well then there's this little tiny pad, which I think gets lost in there. So I'm going to find another home for it where I will remember to use it. And then the three by eights, I think I'm going to stop keeping them in here because I know that there's gonna be more three by eights of this size that don't fit in this pocket. Um, and I don't wanna devote one of these larger pockets to them because they're it's kind of a waste. Um, but I'm going to kind of store these, I think with my pattern papers and I will find a spot for them in that stash instead. And so when I share a video in the future about how I organize all of my paper, I will definitely show you how I'm storing my three by eight papers, but I'm no longer going to keep them with my pocket cards. Okay, I've got my shelves back up here. You can see all of my categories, how everything is organized and up on the shelf. And hopefully I'll be able to start making a dent in the stash. I'm always rotating new cards in and old cards out. I do like having a stash of cards to pull from because that means I have cards that work for different themes and color schemes for when I'm working on a project, but I never want to outgrow these shelves here. And I do have a few additional cards in the closet. Like I said, some of the older Becky Higgins kits pretty much that I want to make sure that my entire stash fits right here to keep it to a manageable size for me. And this might seem like a way too many cards for some people and not enough for others, but this is the amount that I think is a comfortable size stash for me. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below and I will be happy to help answer them. And I will be back with another organization video in a couple of weeks. Thanks, bye.